Hello everybody and welcome to Gaming with Mr. Poopy. Today we're going to be going over some graphic settings with some Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, we're going to be running with our RTX 3080 Ti and we've got that paired up with our Intel 12700K, which is a 12 core processor, and 32 gigs of RAM. Um, so to start off with, as you can see we got our frame rates up top in the left hand corner. Um, our settings here. We've got textures set to high, DLSS is off, and all of our other settings are set to its maximum high, ultra, psycho, high, and ray tracing is off for now. So, let's do a little run around here. This uh, little city center area here is one of the more demanding parts of the game. So this is pretty much what you can expect as far as uh, your lows go. I mean, all the other parts of the city are either going to be like this or higher. So, this is the worst you can expect with uh, everything set to its maximum. No ray tracing, no DLSS, and I just got rid of it. That's lovely. So inconsiderate. So let's take a little run back here, and you'll see that the frame rate will start going up because this area back here is less intensive. Now we're hitting up to the upper 60s and maybe 70. Eh, close. All right, let's head back down here and uh, we'll get back to the main hubbub over here. So yeah, as you can see, we're getting in the 40s here, 50s. So if you're looking for 60 frames per second, you're not gonna find it like this. I mean, other parts of the of the city, you'll probably have over 60, but if you want to stay above 60 all the time, this is not it with the 3080 Ti. Let's go into settings. And we shall turn on ray tracing. So we're really going to get things cooking here. And let's get out of here. And oh boy. 30s. Bleh. No, thank you. This jittery mess. I'm gonna throw up. But, not surprised. Uh, yeah, running uh, ray tracing without any DLSS is uh, <laughs> pretty intensive for any GPU. Unless you're one of those people who's going out to get a RTX 4090. Because um, from what I saw, the 4090 can actually hit 60s uh, with ray tracing native, no DLSS. It can hit 60s. Uh, that thing is a beastly card and beastly expensive as well. So let's go back here just to see. In the less intense area, yeah, we're only still hitting 40s. Yeah, this is not how I would play. Hell to the no. Um, all right, so let's get back over here. Um, but, I mean, oh yeah, here, let's see. Ray tracing is nice. You can see the reflections in the vehicle. Uh, the windows, uh, I believe, reflect all the signs. Yeah, you can see everything in there. It's pretty, but who's going to sit there and stare at the windows? I mean, come on. I mean, if you really go back and forth between ray tracing and non-ray tracing, you might see some differences in some of the other lighting, but... Eh. Not that big a deal to me. Alright. Um, so we're going to leave ray tracing on. And now we're going to set DLSS to quality. Apply. <clears throat> now we're touching... We're almost hitting 60s. So picture still looks good. It's kind of sharp. Looks nice much better frames still wouldn't necessarily game at this at least not me personally for some people ooh, let's put that away I don't want to scare the folks um, for me I still probably wouldn't game at this setting I mean it's doable but I still still not the settings I would use um, but as you can see we're starting to hit some 60s now and if we go back here we'll probably start touching on some 70s Yep. 
So interior buildings and such, you'll probably hit 70s, possibly 80s. Um, but anything in these more intensive areas, you're going to start to see some drops below 60. So, nothing terrible, but if you want to stay above 60, this is not the way to do it. So back to settings. Let's try it on performance and see how she performs. Now we're looking good. Now we're well above the 60s. We're in the upper 70s, actually. Ooh, hitting 80s. Yeah, we're doing well now. Um, these are good settings. The only thing is with performance mode, the picture takes a slight hit. Nothing horrible. Um, nothing, you're, you probably won't notice it on YouTube, but um, on, uh, in person, you can see a difference in the sharpness and clarity of the picture. I mean, if you're just moving around, playing the game, you're not going to notice it as much. But I can kind of see on the billboards and, and around the edges of the lights, there's some of that noticeable aliasing, stair-stepping effect going on. Nothing super distracting, but it's there. Um, but if you prefer smooth frame rates, this is the way to go with ray tracing. Um, this will get you a nice game experience. And as you can see, we're in the 90s now. I could live with this if I wanted to play with ray tracing on. This is pretty much how I would do it. Because I like my tasty frames. Alright. Let's head back here. Alright, now let's try. We've got things on performance. So let's put DLSS to quality. And turn ray tracing off. Apply. So this is the performance you'll get with quality DLSS, which is a nice picture, and no ray tracing. And as you can see, we're getting about the same frame rates as we would with ray tracing performance. Um, and yet we get a sharper picture. This is kind of how I play. Um, I prefer, I don't think ray tracing makes that big a difference. So I prefer the clean picture, high frame rates. These are my settings, my cup of tea, and I'll take a biscuit with that tea. This is nice. Oh, God. Such a beautiful game. I love it. I know a lot of people hate on Cyberpunk. Got a lot of flack when it first came out. But I enjoy this game. And as you can see, we're hitting hundreds of frames. So many tasty frames. Ooh, look at that. 112. Yes. So this is... Uh, this is a nice gaming experience. What a gaming PC it was built for. All right, we'll head over here, and we'll do one more little test. If you really want even more frames, we'll put it on performance with no ray tracing. And as you can see here, now we're almost hitting hundreds. Yeah, we're hitting hundreds even in the main city area. So if you want. At super smooth frames. Although, I don't know if it's technically necessary on a game like Cyberpunk. It's not like some twitchy, fast-paced shooter like Call of Duty. But, hey, to each your own. If you really want some high frame rates, you can pop it on performance. No ray tracing. And now you're really, yeah, look at that. We're getting 120s now, 130. We'll probably hit 140 up here. Uh-huh. Ooh. I think we just passed the, yeah, we're right at, ooh. One, yeah. Yeah, we're right my... Monitor is only 144 hertz, so anything past that is kind of a waste. But again, I can see in the distance the picture is a little hazy, slightly fuzzy. Um, but again, it's all personal preference. Game how you want to game. Don't let people tell you how you need to play. You make that choice yourself. So again, I put it on quality. No ray tracing, none of that motion blur, blah. And, uh, yep, these are my settings. This is how I play. So, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave one down below. And uh, if you like the video, give it a like. And if you really enjoy this content, then please subscribe. And you all have yourselves a lovely day. Bye-bye.